Proverbs 14, 13. Even in laughter the heart may ache, and the end of joy may be grief. Good Wednesday morning. I love a good joke, but the world is laughing itself to eternal damnation. Jokes and memes, drunkenness, and mood-altering drugs are all the rage. Laughter is used to cover inward emptiness and deceive others that all is well. But the loneliness after such frivolity is crushing. Life is not always amusing. Dying, that's a terrible prospect. Hell's not funny. Drunken folly cannot eliminate the painful reality of dysfunctional living, unfulfilled expectations, the certainty of death, and the possibility of eternal damnation. People cannot do enough to forget their pain and trouble. When the laughter ends, the heart feels even heavier with grief. What laughter has sorrow brewing underneath it? Certainly not the laughter of the righteous, for their happiness flows from a heart that's filled with contentment, happiness, joy, peace. This proverb speaks of the laughter of the wicked, who are described in the preceding and the following verses. Consider the life of the unbeliever. Solomon analyzed the best that life can offer, and he summarized it all as vanity. Life's too short. It never meets expectations. It's filled with trouble and sorrow. And the soul is not content with any amount of anything. Death is sweet compared to the judgment that follows. No wonder we spend a fortune on amusement parks. Musing is thinking. And to amuse is to replace musing with nonsense. We spend a fortune to engage in folly to find a fulfillment, but then we go to sleep that night knowing that it was just an expensive diversion that didn't work at all. We remain empty. No matter what an unbeliever tells you, they're not happy. It's easy to tell. The ones with the best circumstances, the ones that the world admires the most, they have the greatest misery. Consider Hollywood's stars. Their sorry lives of divorce, suicide, drunkenness, and other symptoms of dysfunction tell the truth. They're empty, they're miserable, they're searching. The Bible calls them raging waves of the sea foaming out their own shame. Wandering stars to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. When your heart is sorrowful, laughter is not always the best solution. And that is coming from a guy whose life verse is a cheerful heart is good medicine. Laughter alone will never provide the comfort that a troubled heart needs. Instead, a troubled heart should find its comfort in God. Lord, you know the hopes of the helpless. Surely you will hear their cries and comfort them. Your eyes are on me. I place my hope in your unfailing love. God, when anxiety rises up within me, your comfort gives me renewed hope and cheer. Your name, Lord, is a fortified tower. I run to you and I'm safe. Your steadfast love, it never ends. Your compassion, it never fails. Your love and compassion are new to me every morning. Great is your faithfulness. God of hope, Fill me with joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit I may abound in hope. Help me not to lose heart, God, even when it feels like I'm wasting away. Remind me that inwardly I'm being renewed day by day. Show me how my troubles are achieving for me an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. Fix my eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Lord, you love me and by your grace have given me eternal comfort and hope. So now, Lord, comfort and strengthen me in everything I, I do and everything I say. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ, my Lord, I pray. Amen.